click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a numerical number 4 and based on a properties of Z transform. So first of all we will see what was the question and then we will move on to its solution. So the question is find a Z trans of X of an Android ROC. Now this one is important. The question is find 5 raised to n into sin pi by 4 into n into u of n. Now look at here. Here already whole function or whole sequence is multiplied by u of n which means our ROC is available outside the unit circle or you can say exterior part of the unit circle. Now, so ROC problem is solved. Only the thing is we have to apply a Z transform on sinusoidal wave and then later on we will use a time scaling property. Now, if you have derived or if you know the Z transform sin pi by 4 into n, then it is good. If not, then solve whole question and then substitute 0.5 raised to n. Now what I'm going to do, I know that the formula of Z transform that I'm going to use over here, Z transform sine omega n, I will use in this solution and then I'll substitute the A raised to n formula. So first of all, what is the formula or what is the Z transform sine omega n? I'm going to consider this pi by 4 as a omega n and u of n. Now, this is the Z transform of sin omega n into u of n and it is Z into sin omega upon Z square minus 2 Z cos omega plus 1. Now, what is our omega? Just compare both this part then you can say that here omega value is pi by 4. So, just replace all this omega by pi by 4. Now, what is our next step? I have substituted the value of pi by 4. Now, you can apply a sin pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 value over here. But, but before of that, I will use a time scaling property. Because after a time scaling property, you can do that sin pi by 4 or cos pi by 4, you can substitute that values. So, our question was 0.5 raised to n sin pi by 4 n into u of n. As I told you, we will apply a time scaling property. If we apply time scaling property, then we can say that all z will be replaced by z by a. And here our a value is 0.5. So this is what we have. Now we know that 1 upon 0.5 is 2. Now we will substitute a sin pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 value in this equation. What is the formula of sin pi by 4 and cos pi by 4? It is nothing but 0 0.707 or you can say 1 upon root 2. A sine pi by 4 value is 1 upon root 2 and cos pi by 4 value is also 1 upon root 2 and 1 upon root 2 is nothing but 0 0.707. So simply multiply 2 with 0 0.707 as well as 4 with 0 0.707. So 
look at here i have multiplied these two with 0 0.707 and 4 with 0 0.707 and i have got this result 1.414 into z after taking square inside this bracket then we have 4 z square now 4 i have multiplied with 0 0.707 what i've got 2.828 into z and plus 1 now if you want then you can stop here also or else you can take this 4 common from whole bracket but my suggestion is just stop here so that you will get the full marks as well as if you move on then also you will get the full marks but the important one is your time will be safe so this is the z transform of 0.5 raised to n sin pi by 4 n into u of n so what is the next step we have to calculate the roc as i told you this whole function was multiplied with the u of n and we know that i'll show you the question first this was the z transform of now as i told you here we have u of n now if we have u of n which means our roc is available outside or exterior part of unit circle so this is how we are going to represent and the ROC will be if this is our unit circle if this is our unit circle then just because of u of n we can say that the ROC of this given function is available outside the unit circle or the exterior part of the unit circle so where use the ROCs we can assign or allocate it Here we can write the ROC of this given function. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda. Subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.